Hello and welcome to Miss Divinity. I am here with your bi-weekly love reading for my lovely Gemini's Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and its cross watchers for the time frame of April 1st through April 15th. I did a poll earlier today. It is the 28th. It's late night, almost 11 o'clock. On March 28th, I did a poll earlier today to see if you guys would like love first or if you would like generals first and love one by a hair. I think the poll is still up, but it's, it's already done now. I picked love. Okay, so if you're new, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. And if it does not resonate for you, like I always say, take the meat, leave the bones. There are 999,000 other readers out there. Go to them, spend the block, come back next week, come back tomorrow whatever or get a personal from another reader or myself i can be reached at mrvenergy at gmail.com or on wizio where you can even look at snippets of readings and look at my reviews so you can feel safe if you feel like it's a sham it's a scam you know how some people be i got i got the receipts to show baby i've been doing this for a while we real deal over here but anyway um maybe you guys are feeling silly i felt silly as hell um, but you guys know I fly by the seat of my pants. Whatever deck we feel drawn to, that's what we do. And I'm feeling drawn here, Gemini, okay? So like I said, this will be for the time frame of April 1st to the 15th. We are all on different timelines. So it could be past, present, or future for some. Also, time is an illusion. So it'll resonate when it needs to resonate or not at all. Okay, we share this energy. It is collective. That's why YouTube is free. It's, it's, you got the chef, Okay. All right, I'm warming up. Holy Spirit, got a message for y'all. It's for people that know that they've been with me for a while. They know I start warming up when uh, I get hot, profusely hot. I start to sweat. My hands will start to sweat like I'm a crackhead. I don't know why. Um, but, yeah, I started to start sweating and shit. So I'm getting hot. Um, I think I did. Somebody's reading. I got hot at the end, which was weird. But today, I am hot as soon as I touch the deck. So let's get it. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit that bell. Okay, Gemini. First card out, I'm working on myself so I can give you the love and relationship you deserve. You were my home and now I feel like I'm out in the cold. So some of y'all could be, could have broken up with someone. This is kind of like my breakup deck. So I, um, it's letting me know off the bat that maybe you, yeah, I'm hearing cut off. You might have cut somebody off. The next one, and these cards have different pictures, but I keep getting the flowers. Somebody could want to give you flowers or you want flowers or somebody likes yellow and red flowers. Sunflowers, something like that. I'm coming to you with an offer. Will you say yes? When I offer you my hand, will you take it? Okay, I don't know why I want to sound like a newscaster. I don't know. Maybe somebody's a newscaster. I just got that weird voice out of nowhere. Weird. Um, maybe somebody does podcasts. Uh, newscaster, teacher. I don't know where that weird ass voice came from. Bottom of the deck. I keep track of you from afar by looking you up online. Okay, I don't know why I want to sound like Siri or something right now, okay? Um, let's see. Somebody could be in the uh, AI technology field. They could work at IT, um, I don't know, with robots or something. Yeah, I keep track on you. Like, I'm getting hacker energy. So somebody you could have broke up with, or it could be a new person. Uh, but if it's somebody you broke up with, they, they working on themselves. You guys might, you might've gave them an ultimatum. I'm getting real hot. You might've gave them an ultimatum and they're like, okay, I'm gonna work on this. They, you, they could have lived with you. You could have kicked them out of your home or you felt like home to them. They are, they do want to double back. Okay. I wanted to say come back, but I want to say double back. Maybe this person says double back, or maybe you, this is the second time you took them back. Or maybe they came with a, maybe I need to break up because I, I need to get myself together. And you like, okay. And they ask, is like, damn, maybe I don't. Because you out there living life and you fine. And they're like, well, maybe somebody has snatched them up. Yeah, somebody doubled back. Maybe they was like, well, maybe we need a break. And then they come back like, no, because you were okay with it. Yeah, I'm hearing double back. I'm coming to you with an offer. Will you say yes? So now this person's working on themselves. They feel left out on the cold. It's hitting them. They want to come back and offer you. Take me back, baby, baby, please. And they watching your ass online. Okay, let's let's just let's just be clear. All right, let's pull my crazy word deck. But I also got like somebody real quick. Okay, Swift on the computer. I don't know why they want to say Swift. I don't know. Maybe it's somebody's username. I'm seeing like chat rooms and usernames, which people don't really do no more. But some people do. But yeah, that's what I'm getting. Like username. Somebody's name could be like Sway or I. I don't know. Okay, we're not gonna do this. Uh, Sagi already took me for a ride. I can't do it, Gemini. 
Okay, Sunday fun day, bottomless mimosas, weekend finale and brunch. So somebody could want to go out to brunch this weekend uh, or um, I keep saying this weekend, but in the next couple of weeks, this is a, a April bi-weekly reading. So in the next couple of weeks or two or three weekends, somebody could want to take you to um, brunch, maybe have some mimosas. Um, but it's like, we like the drinks more than the food, but we take them both <laughs> an excuse to drink. So mimosas, you know, that's breakfasty. And then we have a day of drinking when you get started early so you can pass out on time. Yeah, this is like the weekend. Just want to like coming down from uh, like, say if you have a little, okay, I don't want to, I don't know why they say sex fest or something. Like say if you guys are locked in all weekend, it's like you guys want to, and you guys work Monday through Friday and you guys meet up on the weekend. It's like, oh, we just have so much fun and we eat and we do it and we go shopping or whatever. And then on Sunday we go to this brunch, close it out kiss each other and go back to the grind for Monday through Friday, okay? I don't know why I'm getting that either. Maybe it's like somebody that you're getting back with and you guys are taking it slow and you spend the weekends together for some or Sunday. Gun control. So something could be, uh, somebody could have a gun or a weapon. Yeah, again, Facebook stalking. Somebody definitely Facebook stalking. I keep track on you from uh, afar online by looking you up online, and then we got the Facebook stalking for sure. So it could be on some so social media site. Facebook stalking. Taking on social media in order to spy on your exes. Talking to social media. Yeah, daddy issues. Okay, so somebody that's watching you could have father problems, or maybe you have father problems. Generally, someone who developed loose morals as a result of fatherly neglect. So this could be, somebody could call, could have called this person like, hey, daddy, I never understood it, not knocking anybody, but I never wanted to call my man daddy. It's just weird to me, to me, okay? Whenever I say anything, it's my own opinion from my own perspective of my view in life, okay? I don't know what nobody else doing. I don't like calling dudes daddy. It just throws me. I had a lot of great father figures in my life, so it's kind of weird. But yeah, somebody calls somebody daddy, yeah, and when somebody drinks, they probably, um, or the, you know you're dating someone. I'm getting really hot. You're dating someone that has father problems or you broke up with somebody that has daddy issues. They, they don't know how to grow up. They could drink a lot. Bernie Sanders. Now, I got this in the weekly What's Up or the daily. He's coming out this week or in a couple of weeks in April. Something with Bernie Sanders or universal health care is coming out. Male stripper. Oh, my God. We got male stripper. Dollar bills with Bernie Sanders. And his slogan is feel the burn. Okay. So somebody could be living like a stripping life or loose sexually. Mm hmm. Somebody could be very loose sexually. Somebody could be burning. Be careful. Yeah. Gun control is giving me like control your dick. Okay. Sorry. Um, but yeah, somebody, they get drunk, they can't control themselves, and they, somebody gonna be burning, okay? Somebody could have burned you. This could have been why it was a breakup or going to, okay? Yeah, chain smoking, a lot of butts. Yeah, this person could like anal sex, or this person, uh, they drink and smoke. Somebody could definitely, yeah, somebody could definitely be a chain smoker, like, uh, loose. It's giving me the devil card from my one deck. I wish I could see where it is, but it's giving me the devil card because on that card, he's smoking. He's on a fucking toilet. It's giving me Fonzie vibes, bad boy, but he, he be sticking it. Okay. It also could be a stripper or do something sexual online. Farting in public. Uh, yeah, it's giving raunchy. Could be kind of raunchy. Fake orgasm. I'm telling you, uh, bed actress. <laughs> Look, I'm telling you, what did I just say? I said something online, raunchy. Yeah, somebody could do something online. Bed actress. Like, and like somebody deals with people that could be disgusting, but they're like a stripper. It comes with it. Yeah, cannabis. Somebody could be a smoker as well. A lot of smoke. Somebody could be like a bottle girl or a hookah lounge or a server, bartender. I'm also getting 
hesitation. Yeah, like a past, but it's like some, you could be hesitant, but the spring is coming. So love is blooming. Like it could be a situation that's blooming or somebody wants to come back, but you, it could be somebody that you have a child with. It's like, nah, you could be saying no, because maybe this person smokes too much weed. Yeah, I'm hearing they're saying drug or does some type of drug. It's like, I don't want to jump back into this because I didn't found myself worth confidence empowered i have values now and yes two people could have done drugs and one got their shit together and the other one is uh still out there and it's like i can't be attached to you because you're doing this this stuff is going to take bring me back into the life it could be weed liquor anything pills uh crack cocaine heroin whatever and somebody's clean and somebody's not and it's like i, I ain't gonna be able to do it so it's like it's a hesitation but somebody's like i want a family and we can compromise we'll come to some type of mutual understanding for some, it's just weed. Yeah, this is like a goal. It's like we got goals. We, we can have dreams. We're going to be back together. Yeah, because I told you at the beginning, it said somebody was working on themselves. So somebody's issue could have been drugs. Yeah, but somebody could have said they, they did the drugs because it, it sparked their creativity. But somewhere they got lost where it wasn't sparking their motherfucking creativity no more. They were addicted. They they stopped writing the book. They stopped doing because they was too damn high or drunk. At this point, yeah, they, they're trying to say they released it. Or you released them because you stopped. Yeah, they released it because it was a, yeah, it was affecting their money. Yeah, somebody's awakening. Yeah, maybe they did quit this. Okay. Maybe they did quit this. Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, hit that bell. Too many cards. We'll just take the two that flipped. Agree to fucking disagree. I told you some type of compromise. You see shit differently. That's life with another person. Good times. Yeah, you might have to compromise in this time frame. One of you is doing too many fucking chores. That person better get laid now. Yeah, and somebody is like being responsible... Like, somebody's the responsible one, and someone time for shit to get real. Get honest as fuck. Yeah. Somebody could be putting in a lot of work in the relationship, and somebody's not. But somebody's like, well, we need to have a compromise. I'm not going to keep ex overextending. Without the drugs or anything that's going on, if you're, like, in a regular relationship, Gemini, uh, you could be overextending, or someone else is, and you might have to check somebody about that. Like, man, look, I go to extra mile. When I come home, I still clean up. You work like I work. You could clean up on every other day or cook every other day. We need some type of compromise. I have too much on my plate. So you guys need to find some type of com com compromise with that. And somebody is like, they don't speak up. And somebody's going to end up blowing up if they don't speak up about this. Deal with your drama. Handle exes. Old hurts and unresolved shit. I'm telling you, old hurts because we had daddy issues. We had drug issues. Somebody has some stuff out, out, out in, the, in the closet somewhere. Okay, somebody could be in the closet. Yeah, somebody could have exes popping out, pissing you off. Old hurts and unresolved shit. Like I said, daddy issues. Um, a, uh, Very, okay, they want to say turbulent sex life. Okay. Very could be been promiscuous, but somebody's like release those old ways. Waking up, shedding, ready to compromise, ready to. Somebody's saying they trying not to be toxic no more. Okay, they are gonna give you an offer. Uh, they they gonna say hey, working on they self. They've been looking at your social media. They want to move back in. Okay, let's just be clear. I know when I hear it, this is the baby, baby, please moment. Baby, baby, please. As my mom would say, she was like, baby, baby, please. Yeah, glass. Somebody doesn't like the way somebody gets in front of, like, the TV. Like, my stepdad used to always say, my mom, mom's other husband, I have a new stepdad. This was when I was younger, but this, the man she's with now, she's been with for over, like, 15 years, probably 20 years. But my old stepdaddy, he used to always be like, oh, don't stand in front of the TV. He'd just bust out and be like, oh, your daddy wasn't no glass maker for so long. I didn't know what the fuck we was talking about because I was young. 
And then my mom finally told me, it's like, you stand in front of the TV. You're saying that you're not a piece of glass. You're, you didn't have a mother piece of glass and a father piece of glass that made a child piece of glass. You, you, we can't see through you. Move the fuck out the way, pretty much. Um, yeah, somebody says that. Your daddy wasn't no glass maker. I don't know why, where that came from. Somebody also could could have, like, before the shit went down, they tried to give you some flowers to fix some shit when they should have been fixing their addiction. And somebody could have broke the vase or whatever it came in. I just see the glass crashing down, like, fuck these flowers and fuck you too. Get out. I don't know. Sorry. And I channel those conversations. They can get pretty intense. Yeah, Antarctica, somebody's real cold and lemon. Yeah, I'm not taking these uh, words for what they are this time. Antarctica gives me, like, real cold and lemon is, like, sour. Somebody left a sour taste in your mouth. You can see through them now as well. It's like, I can see the real you and I don't like it. Yeah, the, whoever's like trying to work on themselves, you could see the real them. Or you could have seen them at their lowest. Somebody left a sour taste in your mouth. Uh, somebody could like cold glasses of lemonade as well. Cold ones. Yeah, Antarctica with the lemon glass. This could be this person that works on this. Somebody really likes lemonade. Yeah, again, ice. Like something ice cold. Brush. Ice. Somebody could be somewhere where it's snowing. Brushing a lot of ice. And snow. You know how you gotta get the ice off the thing. Somebody could live in an article. You know, you're not gonna get much of that. Australia wants to come out. Somebody travels. But it's like to the cold places. Like, why the fuck would you do that? <laughs> They like cold. I mean, if people like hot and warm, I'm sure people like, some people like cold. I know some people that hate hot. I want to go wish. If I had the lives, I know I was in Brazil or in the Amazon somewhere hot. Because, baby, I don't like cold at all. Okay. I'm trying to see what else is coming out. Nothing else wants to come out for that. We'll try this deck. They like, we tap that deck dry. Okay. All right. We have copper. And then that came out last week. So, I like to pay attention to repetitive cards. Okay, so we have, um, somebody watches somebody play a piano. Maybe somebody does some online or makes videos. Yeah, somebody likes to watch somebody work. Or maybe somebody travels to see wildlife. Okay. Something could be going up with Jupiter. Something is, is big. Something is so big that it needs a crane. I don't know where that came from. Something is heavy. Yeah, something is too heavy. It needs to be lighter. It won't pass. I don't, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I got crane, like Jupiter, buffalo, cotton. Like, uh, But when I see the words, it formulates for me. I'm saying like something... That's very heavy that has to be moved, but it's too heavy. It's not going to pass the restrictive processes or whatever. I don't know if they do that for planes. It, something is out of capacity. Something is overweight. Maybe somebody's trying to send something, and it's like, oh, it won't pass. It, it needs to be lighter because it's like buffalo here, and then it's cotton. Two, very two different off things. Like the, Whatever it is, it's way over too heavy. It's way over capacity. For some, it could be a club, like a little hole in a wall club. Or people can do acts or play instruments, or yeah, it's too it's too many people. It's over capacity. I don't know what. Yeah, this could be like on a cruise or a boat. Yeah, we got March, so maybe this happened in March or is happening in these next few days. Something about a port in March, because we're in March. Yeah, ground. Yeah, it's something's too heavy that, okay, maybe it's a flight or something has to get grounded. Or something can't land or something can't pull into the dock or the port because something is over capacity. I'm sorry. I don't know why I keep saying sorry. Like somebody's telling you, like, I'm sorry, I can't do it. We can't let you in. We can't mo ship this. We can't get this in this time frame it's too heavy something needs to be broken down something needs to be taken in a different way of transportation i don't know that's what i'm hearing okay guys yeah i want to contact or mutual friends yeah somebody's asking their friends about you 
I mean, your friends about you or their friends. Maybe you guys have mutual friends. Yeah. It does say it on the card. Duh. So we have, uh, yeah, four cups. Somebody doesn't want something. Well, it's like, oh, the same old shit. You're coming in here lying. You're not going to do the drugs no more. You're not going to smoke. You're not going to drink. You're not going to cheat on me. Yeah, we know. I see through you like glass. The last time you left a sour taste in my mouth. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, it's a little explicit. But somebody uh, maybe left someone because somebody came in and somebody did fellatio or something and somebody noticed something off. Like maybe if you could taste another person on this person. I'm trying to put it as PG as I can. Or somebody smells weird like pre-sex from somewhere else or smell like condoms or something. It's like, no. Yeah, somebody's intuition is like, mm-mm, bitch. It's giving me that scene when he's like, let me smell you, you know. Yeah, somebody wants to smell something. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, uh, somebody could come in with, uh, yeah, five of Pentacles. Yeah, five of Swords, I'm sorry. <sighs> Yeah, somebody wants to get back or come back in good or rebuild. And it's like, ah, you don't know if you're ready for that. Yes, yeah, somebody's saying it's too soon. We just broke up two days ago. How you renewed in two days? Yeah, like that's what somebody's saying. Like, cut it out. Yeah, I told you. It's an offer. It's a cup of love offer. Somebody's looking at it like, ha. So you didn't change your ways in 32 hours. Yeah, I'm supposed to believe that shit. Boy, if you don't head out. But if you don't head out, they want to bring you another cup of love. It's like, don't you see these other cups stacked up? I'm still reeling from the last time you brought a cup of love with whatever the fuck bullshit into these empty ass cups. Ugh. Yeah, I'm getting like a trick cup. Okay, we're talking about love. Cups are love. You, remember, I'm an 80s baby. It's 86. Do you guys remember that? They might still make them. I thought it was like a trick cup when I was young, but my mom had one. And it's a cup where... It's supposed to keep your shit cold, so you put it in the freezer, but it has, like, it has the inside of the cup, and then it has, like, you know, the thin layer between the cup and the outside of the cup has water in that. So, if you look at it, it looks like it has water in it, okay, but it's really just something in between the layers, and it's nothing in the cup. You have to pour something in it. But I thought it was a trick cup when I used to talk to my mom. My mom was like, no, it's actually for you to freeze it, so you can put your beverages in there, and they stay cold when that wall of water is around the thing that's frozen after you put it, after you take out the freezer, you pour your shit in and keeps your shit cold. If it makes sense. I don't know if they still make those, or, but that's something that was back in the day. But I thought it was cool because I used to trick people and my friends. And say, I got something to drink, hey, you know, and be lying, ain't shit really in the cup. Yeah, it's like when they hand you these cups, it's not really love. That's why you keep getting these cups. And it's like, oh, I got another cup. Oh, it's something in there this time. It's like you tilt it up and it ain't nothing. Got me again, motherfucker. So it's like, they're coming back. Here's this cup. They're even holding it all right. Like, don't tilt it. Don't make any sudden moves. Because then you know that this water is not really in it. <sighs> and weird. Okay. Now, they, they whip this one up for you. Yeah, somebody could definitely just want sex. Somebody was a sex fiend. Maybe somebody went to uh, classes for sex addiction. We didn't say that one. Yeah, they come in with this little ass offer. It could be a Scorpio for some. They want to renew something, but it's a page. It's like, what? So somebody could be sending you messages, starting to message you or message you on social media. This person still left a bad taste in your mouth, though. They could have been moving slowly, doing them, but now they want to come in and make some shit happen. Like, what? But you're kind of still bound by the thoughts. Yeah, you're kind of secluded from them now. Uh, some of them could be a Virgo. Kind of like trying to seclude. It's like, I need more time to think, okay? It's like when you want to take somebody back, but you really need to think. It's giving you a headache. You don't want to think about it now. They're asking you every day. Yeah, you got them on hangman status. Pisces. Yeah, by yourself. Hangman said, I'm still trying to figure this out. I feel like you know the answer because this is a yellow light emanating from her, which is illumination. I feel like you already know. See, again, look, I got these when I said the yellow light's illuminating. You're thinking on something, but it's like you know the answer now. And then I said it's illuminating, and it look, it really is. You know the answer. I don't know what the answer is, uh, Gemini. Look, I told you, Knight of Cups, because somebody wants to come back in. Mm-hmm. And commit. Could be a Taurus, but that's the higher fact. That's like marriage and love. Mm-hmm. And it's like, what? You still got issues. You still need to work on issues, or I still got issues. Yeah, somebody is hot, bothered, hot and heavy, want to get hot. This reading has got me hot as shit. Okay? 
Let me just pull a couple more because this reading is ending. Yes, yeah, spiritual strength. You could have outgrown this person. Somebody still has hope. And the eight of cups, emotional withdrawal. Something you, yeah, somebody's like, I'm getting stronger. I'm doing better. They have hope, but you, you could have like walked away from this already. I kind of feel like it has an irritation still right now. The thrill is gone. It's just like you're just not feeling it. Yeah, but it could be like your soulmate. They could be saying they're your soulmate. Unrequited love. It's like, mm, you think you're my soulmate, but it's really not giving what it's supposed to give. At the bottom of the deck, trust. Situation is calling for you to have faith. I feel like it could get better, but I feel like a lot of you feel like the thrill is gone. Yeah, I'm better now, babe, but the thrill is gone. Do you want them back? Because if somebody had issues, sexual issues, daddy issues, whatever the fuck, or they did something that left a sour taste in your mouth, they're not offering enough. It's like, you're going to take me down the same goddamn road. Like, how many times do we got to do it over and over and over? And now you want to offer another cup? Baby, bye. Okay, like somebody just had to tell somebody like it is. I don't know if you're going to take them back, let them in. If it's a new person, I don't know if they work on their issues. Like, it could be a stripper, and it's like, like, did you let their life go? Your whole phone is filled up with your stripper buddies and bitches you was humping on. And just throw the whole phone away. Like, we need a whole new beginning. We need to move as well. It's like somebody needs, like, if I don't have a super fresh start somewhere else, we can't. We ain't going to be able to do it. Yeah, I feel like the people that's thinking about it, even giving this a start, it got to be a lot for them to get it back, okay? All right, because it's like you see through this person already. You know what they're about, or you feel that way. Mm-hmm. Yes, indeed. You feel that way. I am burning hot. Yeah, somebody wants a fucking union. I'm telling you. They want to get back reconciliation, eternal love. Your time has come. Yeah, look. Or they want to get married, okay? I'm telling y'all, I'm not fucking around. Somebody wants you back. Yeah, but somebody's scared, fear. Mm -hmm. Or they fear that you won't take them back, or they fear that they ain't did enough. Last ditch attempt. That's what I'm feeling. All right, guys, that's your reading. Like, share, subscribe, hit that bell so you know when I'm dropping another video. Bye-bye. I'm burning up.